What's going on everybody? Christy just back at it again and we got some amazing news. So we just got a tweet from the Video Horror Society and it's about the dev updates on the new killer and map and changes that are here to come. And we're about to dive into it and find out what's going on. I am super stoked, super excited. Can't wait to get into it with you. If you like my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here. I can only do this with you guys, so thank you. Let's get on into it. Let's go. So here we go. We're looking at the, the tweet that was just put out. So it says, our latest dev notes cover. Top feedback and issues, matchmaking, monster, gameplay, featured store, escape, the eviscerator, eviscerator map, deathwater power, and more. We have to go get deathwater power? What? Beautiful. Look at that, that picture right there. That is nasty looking. Okay, let's get into it. So here we go. This is the, the new monster death wire, the new map, the eviscerator. So I'm going to dive into this and just read uh, bits and pieces and we'll get into it. So the top issues and feedbacks. Matchmaking. In an effort to improve queue times, we've implemented some back-end fixes that should help ease matchmaking pain points. True, because it has been pretty painful. Uh, they're going to continue to monitor the changes that they've made and make sure it's smooth for both teens and monsters. Awesome. Uh, we understand the monster experience as well as still growing population of players are contributing factors to extended key times. Yes, that is true. So the monster experience. Last we shared, we were in various stages of testing out planned changes to the monster gameplay experience. We are thrilled with the feedback we received after sharing those and we'll continue working on ways to improve the monster gameplay experience without negatively impacting the teens. Okay. And they're saying the following quality of life and balance updates for monster Row will be implemented in the next update from the escape from the eviscerator released this month. Let's go. So next up, the bounty system. The dynamic bounty system that was discussed in our previous notes is still in development. Okay. But we've seen lots of wonderful feedback on how to improve this feature. In the meantime, as much we will be implementing a flux reward in place of the XP when a bounty is in place. Oh, that is needed. Flux is needed. Because right now, whenever you complete a match, you only get like between 10 to 30 flux if you have a max character. Um, and it's it's pretty sad. So that, that needs upping because I don't know how we're going to try to get all those beautiful summer outfits from the catalog, you know? Vending machines, new monster interactions. Monsters are now able to hit a powered vending machine with their basic attack and temporarily sabotage them. What? Once sabotaged, the vending machine cannot be interacted by the teens for 60 seconds. Ooh, nice. That's interesting. That'll stop them. Especially if you're trying to go for that shampi bar to get those extra health. Seven times the machines will also grant a monster a small number of dominance points. Okay. And it says it's going to reactivate after a small amount of time. I like that change. That'll be nice. Plague system changes. Plagues will be a core mechanic of the monsters rather than only accessible via prizes. That's good. I, I like that. I don't like waste. I'd rather have a point prize or in-game pickup prizes other than a plague prize, to be honest. I never really was fond of them, so I'm glad they're implementing this. Uh, it says whenever a monster does not have a plague equips, they will make progress towards earning a new plague by hitting teens. Okay. After a certain amount of hits, monsters can then press the button for the use plague button to fetch a random plague and tear it in from the beyond. I like that. As we mentioned in the last patch, uh, they're saying that plagues will be adjusted and balanced and reworked as implemented. Okay. I like that. That's a good new status effect. Busted. The busted status effect will be added to the game. Let's go. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Because uh, I was getting super tired of those 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hits on almost all the teens it was just getting too much so this will be good so it says an injured team with the busted status effect can no longer be healed by other teens nor by using their medkits nice just like they stated the unpowered sacred staff can overcome this affliction and heal busted teens as normal okay uh busted status has a unique appearance on the player's card when a teen is injured okay so we'll be able to tell right away if they're at that busted status effect and the pools of chroma left by the team will be uniquely colored okay so it'll be different than the original one uh this status will persist even if a teen is resurrected by the book of the dead i like that nice featured store rotation we have seen lots of feedback about the features store rotation not well rotating okay yeah i've seen that there's like four things and it's like it's always off a day and it's just messing up 
and see ya. So let's see, what do they got? Players want to see new content and try out new stuff. Yes. Uh, yes, we do. Like, I, I love seeing, I want to see different weapon mods. I'd like to see different beasting, whenever you hit a team, you know, rage. I want to see different ones. Uh, I, I'm excited. I want to, I want to spend money on this game. So let's do it. As updating the feature rotation requires an additional build. This came down to a timing issue on our side. Okay. I mean, it's a small dev team, so it makes sense. We had the content, but wanted to ensure that it aligned with the patch to avoid sending out too many patches in a short amount of time. I mean, that's, that's smart of them. Sending out all at once instead of here, it's in bits and pieces. As such, we began the store rotation from the beginning to give the team some breathing room to align with the release of the escape from the eviscerator update. Okay, I like that. Going forward, we've made some updates to the implementation process to avoid overlap in the future. Oh, an updated feature store with new items and some return fan favorites will be available with Dead Wire and the eviscerator map goes live this month let's get it i'm so excited okay i like this i like the new the new store it's gonna look good i'm excited can't wait to see what it's gonna look like what do you think it's gonna look like maybe it'll be like a couple sections here a couple here uh, i don't know I'm, I'm excited escape from the eviscerator so we're excited to tell you more about the next release keeping this on the download was not an easy feat no uh, well i mean it was because i didn't really know about it too much but we absolutely stoked to have a chance to dive into this update detail to set expectations reggie will not be released with deathwire Okay, you know, I'm okay with that. They've already got five teens. You only have three monsters. Adding another monster is going to make it four. So that'll give us something else. So pushing Reggie back to later is going to be fine. I'm not worried about it, especially since I'm a monster marine. Swapping our planned character releases was a strategic decision that ties into our continued effort to improve the overall matchmaking health smart i think we need more monsters to be honest we hope that the pushing the release of reggie to a later date and having deathwater first uh and implementing some of the aforementioned monster changes would have a positive impact in the overall player experience yeah i'm down i i think that's a good decision the eviscerator with the release of the escape the eviscerator comes that our newest map this one is vastly different from the other maps aesthetically and will be available for all players hell yeah we're so pumped to see how many players interact with it in game both as teen and monster all right here's a video of it let's take a look this is the full view of it i like that it's like the center stage where you're getting your prize but there's the coliseum where you get the fight that looks good looks like there's two floors i'm seeing two floors so you can see it up above yeah i think you can go up the champion hall who's all all beat the the game it looks kind of nice golden area very fancy looking okay it's like backstage the stairs are gonna be a pain for monsters that's gonna be a choke point that's gonna be tough the press room oh be in there singing and talking and dancing we got the bar lounge area neon lights i like this looks like a back alley bar Looks like it's kind of run down. Another lounge area. Got some food. Gotta eat. So we got blue and red side. Okay. I wonder if it's each teams. We got the boss's office. I'll be sitting in there. The office area. Maybe where it's taking new new players or I don't know. Looks like an outside alleyway. Oh god, this is gonna be difficult. Look at how much hiding spaces there are. Ooh. The streets, the slums, maybe? Okay. Sponsorships everywhere. Oh, this is where the lab where they make the robots, maybe. Like, look at the, the med bay. It's another choke point, those stairs. Med Bay right there where they heal up the, the humans. The teens. Ooh, the press box. That's fancy. Probably where the announcers sit. Oh, there's outside. Look at the... Oh, look up above. 
Wow, that was crazy. That was really crazy. I like that. That looks so good. I cannot wait to play in this map. I'm just excited. This is going to be exciting. I wonder where all the different stations are going to be. I only saw vending machines by the med bay. I wonder if there, there's got to be at least three sets of um, vending machines. It's got to be somewhere. Death wire. So all this right here is just basically an announcer talking about it. So this is the complete breakdown of death wire. Let's see. So we got all his powers. Death drip, beam matrix, voltage vise, the per revolt demoralize gutter punch mm, shows you the whole breakdown of it if you're interested in it i'm not gonna read over it just go ahead and pause the video and you can take a look right here so first up the first power death drift while in assault mode focusing for 1.2 seconds will switch death wire to drift mode drift mode increases death wire's movement by 20 percent while in drift mode attacking or using death drift for 0.66 seconds will switch death wire back to assault mode death drift cannot be used for two seconds after hitting a team uh, so that's okay. So you can't catch up right away. So it gives him a little bit of chance to run away. Death Drift can be used to change modes while in the banished state. Okay, so when you're banished, you can still use it. So here's the mutations for Death Drift. We got Nitro Booster. After switching into Drift Mode, you will move an additional 160% faster for 1.4 seconds. Holy crap. That's that's a lot of speed. Uh, the death time... Wait. The time Death Drift can't be used after hitting a teen has been increased by 10 seconds. Okay. I like that one so far. Homicycle. Decreasing the focusing time time required to enter drift mode by 40 percent mm, okay the movement speed bonus provided by drift mode is increased by 25 percent okay next mutation overdriver while in drift mode your voltage visor cooldown recovers 50 percent faster while in assault mode your voltage visor cooldown recovers 50 percent slower Ooh, that could hurt detail is what's up is a change so let's take a look at this <laughs> Okay, so it takes almost two seconds just to, to get in that mode. Set the attack off up above. Oh, you're drifting. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> you can see the burnout too on the ground. Okay. I definitely like that. That's pretty cool. Well, that'll be interesting to actually be able to play on in-game. The next power, Voltage Vise. After focusing for 0.85 seconds, Death Wire will fire an energy pulse and a cone out to 18 meters. Okay, that's a lot farther than I thought. I thought it was going to be 8. That will afflict all active teens within the affected area and shocked for 2.6 seconds and overcharged for 7 seconds. I wonder what overcharge status effect is. Voltage Vise has a cooldown of 15 seconds and cannot be used for 7 after hitting a teen so no matter what if you're hitting a teen it has a seven second cooldown if you even if you didn't use it during shock status teens will be slowed and then able to perform most actions during overcharge status teens cannot be affected by another voltage vise okay up to two charges of voltage vise can be stored okay so you can build them up so you can have it one after another hopefully you can hit one teen run into another one hit another one so they don't hit you with a weapon so you don't get ambushed voltage vise cannot be used while in drift mode obvious mutation sensor spike while teens are shocked they will also be exposed so you can still see them okay so you can see which way they go the activation time for voltage vise is increased by 45 percent that might be a lot that's a lot mutation circuit breaker when teens are shocked they will also become jammed for 20 seconds so they can't really do anything else so the negative is the overcharge status lasts for additional 1.5 seconds chaos coil you may now store up to three uses of the voltage vise at a time okay so it's three now now the negative is voltage vise no longer affects unarmed teams oh so they have to be armed subject to change keep that in mind subject to change so let's take a look at the the power of voltage vise Ooh. <laughs> you can see that you can see the skeleton Oh, it goes through stuff too? Through objects? Oh, his scream sounded so good. I like that. I was so excited. Okay, the next power is Beam Matrix. After focusing for 0.2 seconds, Death Wild will sweep a targeted area with the sensor beam. All active teens within the beam will be exposed for 3 seconds. Beam Matrix has a cooldown of 22 seconds and cannot be used for 10 seconds after hitting a teen. Still, same. So, no matter what, if you even if you have it cooldown gone and you hit a teen, there's another 10 seconds additionally added on. Here's the first mutation. Risk Radar. The first positive is the time that armed teens are exposed by Beam Matrix is increased by 30%. Okay, the negative is the time 
that unarmed teams are exposed are reduced by 30%, so it's a plus or minus. Okay. Augmented optics. The plus is the area scan by B matrix is increased by 30%. The negative is the activation time of B matrix is increased by 30%. Okay. Give and take. The last mutation it has is terror tracer. The positive is in drift mode. Your movement speed while activating B matrix is increased by 250%. Wow. But the negative is in assault mode, your movement speed when activating B matrix is reduced by 80%. Ugh. Subject to change. Wow. Let's take a look at the video. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's kind of like in a cone. Uh, that makes sense. It's not bad. So the last thing we got, Death Row will be available for purchase this month through our in-game store. For 1,200 fan bucks. Okay. For 24,000 flux. Oh, I should have grinded. Oh, man. That's all for now. Thanks for the patience while we continue fixing the bugs. Nice. Cheers. Sam G. Oh, my God. What a massive bomb that was just dropped right there. That was crazy. Ow. Oh, I, I can't wait. We just got an inside look at the map. We just got an inside look at the powers and abilities of Death Warrior. Ooh. Ooh, we got some new changes that are gonna be coming for the monster and team side oh my gosh i am super excited everything looks aesthetically pleasing it is beautifully drafted and, and designed oh my goodness everything was detailed very well when it was talking about everything and it was explaining how much it could be so now you can start saving up what i need to start doing i have i think 2000 flux so i got 22,000 more to go so I'm gonna, the grind is on that was amazing little inside dev notes i hope you are excited as much as i am and i hope i'm excited as much as you are so i can't wait can't wait to go over more stuff what's gonna happen i can't wait to play i'm still grinding out all my monsters almost done with doll master thank you for sticking around and watching the video all the way through and going over this with me it was amazing to do that i'm glad i can explain this to you if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave it down below. If you like my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, why don't you go check out my other uh, socials? You know, I'm live on Twitch Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm playing VHS. Gotta get those monster games in. I also upload to Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all linked in my about section. So yeah, look forward to covering more. And I hope to see you guys in game or on the flip side. Peace. Thanks for stopping by.